Welcome teachers. I would like to take just a couple of minutes to tell you about a feature of Google Docs that is little known, but hopefully you will find useful in your classroom. You can see that I have a Google Slides presentation open. The function that I'm going to show you will work with either Google Sheets or with Google Docs as well. I have an example presentation for Yellowstone National Park. And let's say that I want to insert an image into that presentation. Most of you are aware that if you go to insert an image, you will have the option to search by clicking on the search tab. Entering the search term will search Google for any picture that is labeled for reuse. So if I just search for Yellowstone National Park, it will return all results that are available for reuse. However, down here, there are a couple of filters, not a couple, several filters that you can use. You can filter Right now I have any image showing. If you wanted only those that showed faces, or you wanted only photos, or you wanted only clip art, or you wanted only line drawings, you could choose that. I'm going to choose photos because I only want photos of Yellowstone National Park. Notice to the right of that, there are the options for many different colors. Right now I'm returning any results with any color. Notice that I had a blue theme to my presentation. If I want to have a picture that closely matches that theme, I can choose one of the blues. I will choose the light blue because that more closely matched my theme. It's not going to return pictures that are obviously blue, but it's going to return pictures that have a predominantly blue theme. So you can see there are a number of pictures with some of the springs at Yellowstone, the Grand Prismatic Spring in particular. There are some snow-covered peaks with blue skies, uh, and there are just general pictures with lots of blue in them that are going to very closely match my theme. I'm going to grab one of those. I'll grab this one of the Roosevelt Arch and insert that into my presentation and resize. You can see the blue may not match exactly, but it is very, very close, and you can see that it obviously contributes to the theme that I have. So this way of searching for images by inserting an image and then searching based on the color can work with any color or any theme. Obviously, you just have to choose the color or the theme that you would like, and it will work with photos or any other sort of drawing that you would like to use in a presentation. Hopefully you will find that useful, whether it is in a presentation you are building for students or whether it is with student presentations that you are having your uh, students create on their own. As always, if you have any questions about this or any of the technology in your class classroom, please feel free to contact me and I will be happy to assist. Have a great day.